We are going to be live here for the next three hours, Lord willing. Larry Elder, who stood up against uh, Piers Morgan last week, uh, exposing the fact that the media is race baiting and trying to create division, is going to be joining us in the second hour, and we'll take your calls then as well, on the deepening racial divisions being openly, nakedly, disgustingly engineered by the kleptocratic authoritarian liberals. And again, they're not liberals, ladies and gentlemen. I, I take great umbrage with the fact that they're called liberals or progressives. They are neo-Malthusian, neo-feudalist who want a command and control economy and a publicly stagnated and reversed society under Agenda 21. And the problem is the so-called Republican leadership is part of the very same guild on so many fronts. The establishment likes to have some opposition in the power structure so that one group can't get too powerful and unseat the hereditary oligarchs themselves that sit above the puppet governing class. But uh, I've got a lot of news, obviously, I want to get to today. Ed Asner is going to be uh, popping in as well. And we will have open phones uh, starting in the first hour. Now, this morning, uh, watching television early this morning and then listening to uh, television on XM and then tuning into local radio, I was ashamed to hear nothing but on its face, royal worship. It is 24-7 coverage on every channel, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, all of it, NBC, ABC, CBS, on and on and on, every single channel. And it made me think of Edward Bernays, the father of modern propaganda, and what he said about royalty and how they would create an artificial royalty in this country of the governing class and of the Hollywood class, fusing the two and then selling Americans' values based on celebrity, empty celebrity, instead of having a culture based on liberty and freedom and the family and uh, development. When this country was the dominant force in the world in its first 170, 180 years or so, the rock stars were inventors. They were scientists, they were trailblazers, they were investigators, they were heroes, they were people that made sacrifices, they were people that went against the grain. And the social engineers saw that, so they created the fake 60s movement and things that was meant to look like it was anti-establishment on the surface, but was actually an establishment salvo pointed right at the life force uh, of this country and of the world. So I'm going to be getting to that uh, after uh, I take some phone calls, the toll-free number to join us for first-time callers in this first hour. First-time callers on any subject, any question, any comment you have. People always call in plugging things, too, because the phones are so open. You can do that, but you better talk about some news issues or give me your take on things first. 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231, and we will get you up and on the air. But I will give you my take on the royal birth. Yeah, the whole world is breathless right now, awaiting the incredible announcement, the magical announcement, MSNBC said when I was in the car, of, 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 of it's a boy or a girl. And I tell you, they're very progressive now. If, if it's a woman, she will, she will end up being the queen. She will not be passable for a male, which makes the monarchy incredibly progressive the most ancient, tyrannical form of government. Now being lauded and pushed as progressive, as long as it's a woman, it's okay. As long as Barack Obama is black, it's okay if he drops bombs on innocent people, because then it's, then it's trendy. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. All right.
right, here's what I want to do. I want to shake up the broadcast, and I talk about this a lot, never seem to get around to it. I want to go to your phone calls out of the gates today, and then in the second half of the hour, uh, kind of flip the script, then go to the news. And we are going to get into CIA backs. $630,000 study into how to control global weather through geoengineering. That's the London Independent, and, and the only reason they're covering it is as a public study. Ladies and gentlemen, there is $5 billion a year. You just type that into a search engine being spent by the Department of Energy in weather modification programs. The programs are admitted, the money is admitted, what they're doing is classified. And their response, so this is also in the London uh, Guardian, is reporting on the Department of Energy spending billions of dollars in geoengineering. Billions. Bill Gates has spent more than $20 billion in the last 15 years or so uh, on these programs. And he does it all tax-exempt. He gets government contracts with a tax-exempt company he's got. Don't believe me? Just type in, Bill Gates has weather control company that aims to, to create and steer and kill and control hurricanes. That's mainstream news. But, oh, yeah, there's London Guardian. Bill Gates backs climate scientists lobbying for large-scale geoengineering. But when I talk about this, what, is, what does Rachel Maddow do? She comes out and says, Alex Jones says Obama sent the tornado. When I said, I don't believe Obama sent the tornado... Uh, but I said, you never know, because there's been so much weather modification. Their weather modification could have been connected to that. The weather's been altered. It's a chain reaction. But I said, tornadoes are at a 60-year low. It probably wasn't. That turns into Esquire and Bloomberg and Associated Press calling my office saying they want comments on how Obama sent the tornado. Now, again, this didn't particularly hurt me. I use it as an example, though, of the type of stuff they're making up, the things they're doing. And there it is. Man out hammers crackpot Alex Jones, Oklahoma tornado weather weapon conspiracy theory. And I keep going back to that because that's now the meme that the White House run media matters kicked off that they're still pushing. They don't say I'm lying about billions of bullets and thousands of armored vehicles and domestic plans to take our guns on record. If they can get away with it. They don't talk about the domestic drones. That's been admitted or the NSA spying on us. Uh, or our government training with foreign troops for domestic security operations. Or $85 billion a month given to foreign offshore banks of taxpayer money. Or all the government narcotics trafficking and big banks openly announcing world government. And Obama signing an executive order to expand carbon taxes outside of Congress. Or how Obama and the globalists are doing everything they can to deindustrialize us and ship our jobs overseas while Obama goes on a tour of baloney and BS, Bravo Sierra, to tell everybody that he's trying to get the economy going. No, no, ladies and gentlemen, it's all that I said Obama sent a tornado. They are a pack of liars. So that's the kind of news that's coming up. Larry Elder is going to be joining us. Uh, he's been sparring with the establishment uh, race baiters like... The tiny viewership, uh, Red Codus Maximus, uh, Jolly Rogerus, Piers Morganus. So that's coming up. We're going to get into, of course, what we reported years ago, now confirmed. Germany is involved with the NSA, spying on everything. Oh, incredible news. That's all over mainstream media. They all get Pulitzer Prizes for it. We're going to get into the latest on the economy that I was just mentioning, and so much more today, a jam-packed transmission. And I'm also, speaking of Red Codus Maximus, I'm going to get into, at the bottom of the hour, the parallels between British royalty and the way that propaganda is sold and the way they can get, on average, over 70% of Brits to say they support the monarchy, it's, it's, it's the similar psychology and formulae that they've used to turn Obama into the peacenik trendy when he's really a fascistic, warmongering, foaming at the mouth uh, dictator. He may leave office, but the presidency is being turned into a dictatorship, and I've been saying that for years, and 
You know, the mainstream media has a meme of, where's the dictatorship? Where's the martial law? Gee, I don't know, warrantless checkpoints all over the country, government spying on you without warrants, forced inoculations going on outside of law from Alabama to California. Pension funds, public and private, being looted in mass. I've got articles uh, on that today. Major cities going bankrupt from California to Michigan, from Florida to New York, from Iowa to Tennessee, all by design, all actuaried out. This is the reality. And we are being eased in to the collapse of society to consolidate control and only being aware of the fact that it is a planned, engineered, purposeful breaking of the social contract to move to a system of authoritarianism because the establishment has said in the Club of Rome documents and all the rest, they're not going to let the general public have access to the new technologies, the new free energy systems, the clean energy systems. They're going to give us fake energy systems that are just boondoggles and payoffs to themselves. They want, in their own words, a neo-feudalistic form of global fascism. That is the Bilderberg Group's own statements. That's Club of Rome. I have it bibliographed on the site, whatistheendgame.com, and in that film, that seminal film, if you want to go see where it's at. This is the reality of what we face as a society. And it's very painful to see this unfolding in our culture and to see the, the hereditary dictators of England who aren't even British. They're not Scottish. They're not Irish. They're not Celtic. They're not Celtic. They are not, they're not from Gaul. They're not from even Germania, really. Nothing against Romanians. Nothing against Transylvanians. But that's really who they are is a group of people that beat the Muslim invasion of Eastern and Western Europe. You know the Muslims, before the crusade drove them back, this is just history, seized all the way into areas of Germany and into Poland. And so I guess you know, their argument is we have a right to rule. We, I, I mean, I, I've got to, you know, if there's any reason to give the Transylvanian royalty a little, I mean, these are the, these are the progeny. They are the royal bloodline of Vlad the Impaler. Uh, he, he has a name. It's called Count Dracula. Dracul, the dragon. And so that's their argument. That's why they say that uh, they are really allowed to rule. And they say that they are related going back all the way. I mean, you can look this up. The queen was coroneted on the stone that's up in Scotland, the stone of destiny. They say that they go all the way back to Abraham. And that then the, 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 the royal family moved into what is Transylvania today uh, and stopped the invasion. You see, everything is just an endless prism, an endless kaleidoscope of history and data. Yeah, there it is, London Telegraph. Prince Charles heir to Dracula bloodline. Yeah, he lives there actually more than England now. He lives in uh, the Dracula castle. He actually has bought, what is it, three castles last time I checked there, and one of them is the Dracul castle. A new castle was built, I don't know, I think they said 500 years ago on the ruins of the old 2,000-year-old uh, castle. But uh, that you know, Vlad m m moved into when it was already ancient. Look at the likeness between him and Vlad the Impaler. So that's, that, that's who they are. And, and we had a war with these people in 1776. They'd never been beaten by anybody. No one had beaten them. Not the Spanish, not the Portuguese, not the French, not the Dutch, not the uh, Austrian-Hungarian Empire, uh, not uh, the Russians. No one had ever beaten this group of people using the strong folks there in the UK, there in the British Isles. And then we beat them. 
And then now you turn the television on and there's 24 seven worship of these people on and on and on. And it makes me sick at my stomach. Now here's some of the articles up on Infowars.com. This is exclusive uh, footage of the birth of the royal baby. It is hilarious satire, ladies and gentlemen. And if you go to the real Alex Jones on Twitter, I may even take it down. It may even be distasteful for me, but I love to defile royalty because it flies in the face of everything. You know, individualism should be why uh, you're successful, not 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 some government and uh, you know of armed forces suppressing the people while old ladies have their have their power turned off. So that uh, hundreds of palaces can be heated in the winter. That's on record. So I uh, showed an exclusive leaked photo of the birth of the royal baby, and of course the sex of the baby has now been discovered. So there's two pieces of satire: one up on the real Alex Jones on Twitter, and then exclusive footage of birth of royal baby. But first. Your call straight ahead, but that's up on InfoWars.com. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack. 
additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> Coming up, I'm going to give you my in-depth take on the British royal family. People say, well, that's a diversion. I thought it's a diversion. No, I'm going to break down how they've set up the distraction because I, I actually have video of this. I was driving in and this woman had a big Union Jack bumper sticker about four times the size of a regular bumper sticker. It was probably 10 inches by a 14 inches. I mean, it was a giant. And again, I have footage of this, but I'm going to upload it in high def. And a giant life-size Queen of England, like she's sticking out of the back of the uh, the Durango or whatever you know, Dodge uh, vehicle it was, SUV. It's like she's coming out the back window, and it's it's Queen Elizabeth II, and it and she's holding an American flag in her hand. So they actually have a little paper flag, little plastic flag, attached to her hand. And it says, long live the queen. And I almost ran into the lady trying to get up close to her in traffic to get video of it. But uh, I'll upload that. Unbelievable. And then just wall-to-wall, -wall, disgusting worship, just mindless fawning, where the reporters are almost laughing. They know how ridiculous this is. Of people in 17th century military outfits being worshipped. And then I tweeted uh, a satire uh, image that I saw on the hike and bike trail this morning. It was one of those things about this is a dog pooping station. So I took a photo of it and said, you know, exclusive photo of the birth of the baby as a joke. And there's people commenting on there going, you're just jealous that, that you don't have the, the same pedigree. So I thought it was funny. It says utilize mutt mitt stations. And my whole point is, who says these people are the elitist and we're the scum? They're so inbred that most of Queen Elizabeth II's sisters got locked up in mental institutions. Look it up. I mean, just totally inbred, raving loons. Absolute mental illness. That's well known that most of the Egyptian pharaohs died at about age 15. This ruler died at nine. This ruler died at seven. This ruler died at 19. This ruler was long lived and lived to 25. Meanwhile, the local villagers would live to be 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years old. Oh, that's real elitist. No, you take over. Kim Jong-un's grandfather takes over North Korea, and then you become the king. You become the ruler. See, I'm already, I said I'd go to your phone calls. I'm going to go to your phone calls, and then I'll get into all this. And Paul Watson has a great video up comparing the British royalty to the worship of Kim Jong-il when he died. I mean, it is just as mindless. And it's a peer pressure thing. Exclusive footage of birth of royal baby. Incredible satire up on InfoWars.com right now. Please make this go viral. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Denise in Minnesota. You're on the air. Thanks for holding. Hi. Um, listen, I just wanted to make a comment um, on your Sunday show. I thought it was one of the best explanations between you and Pastor Manning of showing how all of the divisiveness that's happened with, with what's going on right now with the Trayvon Martin case. But it, you can go back, and they do this to everything and everybody. They've done it to the Native Americans. They've done it to the blacks. They're doing it now to the whites. They've done it to the Muslims. They've done it to the Jews. It, and, it, and to me, it's all about nobody is an individual. That's they right. The globalists do not want you to be an individual. They want you to be about your race or your sexual preference or whatever and obsess on that all day instead of what art do you produce? What literature? What do you stand for? I saw guys on the hike and bike trail yesterday volunteering on a big gully to dig a ditch to divert the water. And I thought, man, what a valuable thing on their own 
going out and volunteering to do a good work like that, how satisfying it is to improve things and build things and do things. And the average yuppie just like, no, 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 I get ahead by only caring about myself. But when everybody truly volunteers as individuals to do the right thing, it builds an incredible culture. But when we say, oh, the government handles it, it creates a nightmare. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, it, and isn't that sad? Isn't it sad what they've done to everybody and everything? Well, it's, it's total divide and conquer where people think it's like a football game, black versus white or whatever, to turn on the news and all it's about is a dead teenager, which is a sad story, but they take that individual and then make it all about that to again create the division. But actor James Woods put out the tweet saying, you know, why isn't Obama concerned about other dead teenagers like like the wounded warriors and people, the, the, the veterans. No, no. It's only about this so that he can appease to race politics so that it's all about, oh, look, I give you race politics. I don't give you jobs. I don't give you dignity. I don't give you a future. I'm shutting down your power plants. I'm shutting down your jobs. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're going to get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an eye beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more coming in the month of June to the Info War. If you want to know why we're becoming slaves and losing every basic liberty, it's because we value tripe, we value fluff, we value soap opera culture, drama queen culture. Oh, it's the old timers that didn't trust the government. They were stupid. Oh, really? They were stupid? No, we've been stupid. And if you know how hard the great people of the UK uh, and the great people uh, you know, of the subgroups of the United Kingdom how hard the Irish and the Scots and the Welsh and all the people of those isles fought against the Norman invaders. And then those bloodlines died out and they brought over the Transylvanian crew about 270 years ago or so. If you realize that our ancestors, anybody who has a name like Jones, or anybody that has a name like Chapman, I mean, uh, one of the most common names, a group of names are English names and, and Scottish names and Irish names in this country. Our ancestors, all of us had ancestors killed in mass by British royalty who were not British royalty. I mean, everybody knew these were conquerors. Everyone hated them. Everyone cursed them for, for, for over a thousand years. And they fought and would behead kings and try to get liberty in Magna Carta. And the first thing, the first thing that Tony Blair did in 1996 when he got elected in the BBC was the headline, Tony Blair, my goal is to abolish Magna Carta. Well, you guys search that, Tony Blair, I will abolish Magna Carta. That was the headline, BBC. Folks, Magna Carta conservatively, conservatively, hundreds of thousands of people died just in a off and on again, decade long group of wars to give you Magna Carta. I mean, you think the government's out of control now, folks? That's where due process, private property rights, warrants, uh, jurisdictions, all of it comes out of that. And imagine, imagine Tony Blair declaring war on your freedom at the direction of the Queen of England. Because the Queen's speech, she gives her speech and then that's the directive of the Prime Minister. She wanted Magna Carta gone. The Queen of England shooting her fat mouth off, her son running around calling for deindustrialization of the British Isles, calling for the deindustrialization of our country while his holdings have moved to China. Uh, Watson put it in his video where they admitted that Old people 
would would get on buses all night for the bus fare to have heat because their their gas allotment was turned off and it turned out the queen of england was heating over a hundred palaces with no one in them with a welfare gas allotment and then blair puts out all this double speak about how he would abolish the monarchy if backbenchers called for it so then conservatives see that as a eu globalist attack because it's true about all they've got left as a british culture is the monarchy and even that is alien and there's the Queen of England and others working with the globalists to get rid of UK independence while the UK independence people defend the monarchy. And, and, and I even get the perspective because it's, it's, it's the only culture they've got. You can't even have the UK flag out. What is it? The uh, King George flag? It, it, it's the white one with the red cross. That's considered racist in Eng England. That's the anti sovereignty movement is so strong that in the media and Watson's talked about this if you fly that at your house the police will come to your door and say what are you doing flying that flag I mean this is how insane it is so 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 my indictment of the British monarchy is an indictment because the system is fawning over something that is alien to the people being in charge. We are the sovereign. We are above the government. The law comes from us, and we have the right to abolish the government if it becomes destructive of the Declaration of Independence. Read the Declaration of Independence. And then I read articles where, oh, British scholars come to the universities and call for the abolishment of the Declaration of Independence and say that it should be made illegal. Type that in, that's BBC. Should the Declaration of Independence be illegal? That was last year articles in the Philadelphia Daily News and in the New York Times and, and the BBC, let's abolish the Declaration of Independence because it talks ill of King George III. And then I saw a woman with the Queen of England on her car today, a big giant cutout of it, saying, God bless our Queen, or God save our Queen. I've got video of it. Yeah, there it is. Is the De U.S. Declaration of Independence illegal? And then it's got feds arguing in the U.S. that, yes, it's an anti-government document because it says we are the masters, not some government god like Obama, not some government god like Kim Jong-un, a third-generation royalty in North Korea. I mean, we look at Kim Jong-un and, and all of his ridiculous outfits and laugh at him. I mean, the Queen of England's outfits and Prince William's outfits, and Prince Harry's outfits, and Prince Charles's outfits, and all of the, and the Duchess of this, and the Duke of that. I mean, I'm about to vomit all over myself, and the fawning, simpering after this makes me want to throw up. And if you look at Edward Bernays, the father of modern propaganda, who ran so many, he, he ran the feminist movement. He wrote three books on it. One of them is propaganda. I've read all three. The books are free online, by the way. You can find the text of them online. And this is stuff written in the 20s and 30s and 40s. He ran the Department of War PSYOPs. And he said, let's not call it war. Let's not be honest. Let's call it the Department of Defense because war is peace. And Bernays went on to say in the 20s, we're going to merge Hollywood with these big newsreel filmed and radio broadcast events with Hollywood as soon as the talkies got popular, the talking movies with the politicians to make them royal and bring in red carpets and, 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 and bring in all these extra guards to make it like royalty so that the people feel small. And he talked about, you know, this has been known for thousands of years that government buildings must be the biggest and most imposing to make the public feel small and powerless. This is all part of the projection of power. But we must merge that into a love and the people will love their servitude. Aldous Huxley wrote about this in Brave New World Revisited, the nonfiction book, and talked about it. And they sit there laughing at you. I mean, you've got people that billions and billions of pounds of money. I, I think in U.S. numbers, something like $6 billion a year spent on the royal family. They have allowances of hundreds of millions of pounds apiece. They have their own trains a fleet of more than 50 aircraft, last time I checked, wide-bodied jumbo jets, uh, ocean liners personally, jet copters. Prince Charles, 
has over 100 palaces. And folks, when I say a palace, I mean huge, sprawling compounds that have patronage, royal patronage, where you'll have hundreds of square miles that are a palace that are the palace grounds where they grow their own organic food, they have their own people living there like peasants. This is in documentaries about it, who get to eat non-GMO and, 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 and they're in their own little fortified, they always say the Queen of England has no power. But then she doesn't allow billboards on her right of way. That's why you don't see billboards in the UK. She randomly exercises power and shuts down major roads in London every day and sometimes shuts down major rivers. to exercise her power. She owns more than half the land in Canada, more than a third of the land in Australia and New Zealand. These places never got out from under them. Every time they vote to do something she doesn't want, the governor general suspends parliament, suspends the legislatures, and then restacks the deck and, and then Canadians and Australians go how dare you say the Queen runs things that's not true because they don't want to be told that kind of like the National Security Council runs things here doesn't matter what Congress does they, they do whatever they want we are a conquered people and we're becoming more conquered every day the chains are getting heavier the ball and chains are getting bigger we have to reverse this now and when I watch the simpering oh it's incredible uh, the, in fact I even have video of it in royal baby gender leaked it's a parasite, a joke video I did, but it has real MSNBC audio that I shot this morning off and on with my commentary. And she's going, oh, it's incredible. The magic letter will soon be sent by a courier from some of the royal staff. And then she's sycophantic, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll be taken and we'll learn the gender. And the great part about royalty now is if it's a baby girl, she will be the queen. She will not be passed over by a later male heir. This makes it so progressive. And it's why the people of England, 76% love it. Now the institution of royalty, hereditary fiefdom, paid for by the people. A giant parasite announcing, Prince Charles, Philip, all of them, that you shouldn't be able to take a hot bath. You can search that. Prince Charles says, don't take a hot bath. This is a guy who has giant private diesel trains, huge jet copters, wide body jet aircraft, and he's like, I believe you should not take a hot bath. We need a tax on the bath. Heating of the water is not proper and contributes to the carbon footprint. <laughs> oh, love your servitude. Love your indentured servitude. Obama, you can't have, you can't have a hot bath. You can't have a car. You can't have air conditioning in Africa because it'll hurt the earth while they're suppressing all the real technologies and then coming out with big boondoggles that don't even get built to their friends. They always create a counterfeit. And so uh, this cult of Obama, where, where it, it, most polls, and I've talked to Brits, I'd say about half of them support the monarchy or under peer pressure, they feel like it. The media puts out fake polls of 76 to 80% to create a fake um, unity or, or, or kind of a, a, a fake consensus. And it's the same thing with Obama. He's the royalty. He's the new Christ. He's going to save everyone. He's going to give you milk and honey. He's going to give you free houses, free cars, free health care. And it doesn't matter if he raises payroll taxes on the poorest Americans. It doesn't matter if, if it doesn't cover pre-existing conditions and it's a giant ripoff written by foreign banks. It doesn't matter if it has death panels. It doesn't matter because you've already bought into the con game. Oh, the queen. Oh, look, everyone's loving it. It is the emperor's n new clothes. These people are butt-naked tyrants, nakedly exercising parasitic activities. And then, but they have all the media. What's going to be eaten on the menu? They're going to have a nice pea soup. And they're going to just fawning sycophantically hour after hour, day after day. With people dressed up in Walt Disney outfits sitting there. When these are people on record that funded Hitler so they could then destroy him and openly funded knocking off their cousins, the czars, to put the communist in 10 times worse. I, I mean, th th these people are the hereditary greatest mass murderers the world has ever seen, and my country is such in such a coma.
And under all this glitz, oh my gosh, the queen, the queen, and women on the street, what do you think of it? I just love the queen, and I just love the, the, the princess, while old people freeze in their homes, freeze to death in some cases, on record, because the government says we're cutting off your gas allotment. Unbelievable barbarism. All right, I'm done. I said I'd go to your calls. Matthew in Texas, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Good, sir. Well, welcome. Worldwide broadcast. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. I'm a huge listener. I'm in Austin, Texas. I want to first off say thank you for fighting the good fight. And uh, my question to you is, what do you think about this whole thing in Houston with the police chief uh, telling those uh, anti-protesters in the, the, the Trayvon Martin thing not to show up with their guns? If you've heard anything about that. Yes, I saw that uh, in the news this morning. I meant to tell the crew it may even be in a stack I didn't look at this morning because I got here late. Well, I got here early, but I had to meet with the newspaper on the latest issue. Guys, will you print me? Houston police chief says don't bring your guns. Uh, yes, uh, I saw that. And again, you have a right to have your guns openly as long as you're not threatening with them. Just like a cop isn't allowed to threaten you uh, for no reason with a gun. That happened in Tucson where the cops come in and one of them just pulls a gun on the uh, attendant for no reason just to menace him and you know, be on a power trip. That cop's been rightfully fired and he should be prosecuted for uh, terroristic threat and uh, brandishing a weapon. But as long as you're there with your weapon slinged, that is the right of a free man. Uh, and you know, I don't particularly like the counter protest to the new Black Panther Party and people, it's your right to do it, because I think it adds power to it, it stirs it up more, when this is all a PSYOP, uh, but then you've almost got to march armed uh, down in Houston if they try to, uh, by fiat, you know, say, don't bring your guns. Well, why is the new Black Panther Party? I mean, I don't agree with a lot of the racist stuff they spew, but I've said, good job for them. They've marched armed with shotguns many times uh, in Houston. And, and look, I mean, look, the Klan has a right to march with shotguns. The, the new Black Panther, uh, Black Klan has a right. The uh, Mecha La, La, La Reconquista, as, as long as they're U.S. citizens, have a right to ar march armed. If they're not, it's then insurrection. Uh, but the police chief does not have a monopoly on this. I think it's disgusting. What do you say? Yeah, I think it's absolutely terrible. And I don't think he has a right to even make a... Uh, make an opinion about this, just like President Obama didn't have a right to uh, talk about the case to begin with. I, I've never heard of a president, and, and, and uh, tell me if I'm wrong, Alex, that has commented so strongly on a criminal case. Well, I tell you, uh, 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 yes, sir, they were popping in my ear saying they had the article, but go ahead. Yeah, but I just, I mean, there's, there's, there's no, uh, I've never heard of a president and, and, and I listened to NPR. I made the mistake of listening to NPR later that day after all this came out. And you should have heard some of the terrible things they were saying. They were saying, well, President Obama finally played his black card. He played his brother card. He's a proud, proud brother now. I mean, that's not the point of being a president. There's supposed to be a certain level of impartiality. That's, that's my whole point. Well, sir, uh, again, uh, the whole thing is a divide and conquer situation. I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Jonathan in New York. You're on the air, but he's calling in on the same subject. Go ahead. Thank you, Alex. I wanted to get clarity from you about the definition of liberty, because I'm looking it up on the uh, Webster Dictionary. And to fight this info war, it, it's, I'm, I'm finding that it's very difficult to transcend to people, especially I live in New York City. There are so many people who believe that, uh, first of all, the, the definition of liberty broadly is the quality of, uh, or state of being free. They believe being free means to be on uh, government aid uh, to... Yeah, they mean the being free is being disempowered jellyfish. I, I mean, if I take off a day to take my kids fishing or camping, I, I, I'm, I'm having fun with them, but I can't quit thinking about all the things that are going on and all the things I want to do. Stay there. I'm going to come back to you to finish up your point, Jonathan. I think this is important. Yeah, what is the definition of freedom? What is the definition of being free? What's the definition of liberty? I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. 
My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com Oh, this isn't very nice on the Royal Baby Day. Of course, the British royalty promotes abortion, forced abortion all over the planet to support the China one-child one policy. But those are rabble babies, not the big elite babies. I'm going to go back to Jonathan and others here in a moment. But first, I want to tell you about a few of the fabulous sponsors we have. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex to find all of this month's uh, food specials. Right now, for every $329 you spend on food with eFoods Direct, the best storable food on the planet, you'll get a free 24-day food supply, the Patriot Plaque, the Patriot Plaque, the Patriot Pack, plus get free shipping. I talk like Daffy Duck now. This is a huge savings. If you've ever thought about having your own food supply, now is the time. Stores up to 25 years. Be ready for all emergencies. Grab-and-go kits available, easy to fix, and extremely portable. The best portable food out there. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633. And lastly, shifting gears, InfidelBodyArmor.com. It can take hundreds of even up to 308 and 30 odd six rounds when the ceramic stuff breaks within six rounds. Uh, and uh, you want Road Warrior type stuff that is incredibly affordable. This is it, infidelbodyarmor.com. They've got an incredible online catalog and backpacks and a bunch of other amazing products. See it all, infidelbodyarmor.com. And I've talked to a lot of weapons and security people. They say this is just amazing stuff and incredibly affordable compared to the, the uh, other systems that are out there. So infidelbodyarmor.com. And you can also give them a call, 888-608-6605, 888-608-6605. Oh, five, four, infidelbodyarmor.com. Okay, let's go back to the caller uh, here. Uh, I mean, all I can say about what's happening in Houston and other places where you've got people, white people and Hispanics yelling at black people, this is exactly what the New World Order wants. And it's just beautifully played against uh, people. You want to know why we're losing our rights, why we're becoming poor? Because more and more we're a nation of morons. Not all of us, but there's a large group of morons uh, out there uh, who just want to fight with each other. And if they could just beat the white people, they would be successful. Or if they could just beat uh, the black people, they'd be successful. Or if this was just Mexico, because Texas used to belong to Mexico, along with five other countries and groups, you know, the French and everybody else, why Mexico wouldn't be poor. No, if Mexico ever had independence and ever had real private property and wasn't run by strong men, they would be freer. We're becoming like Mexico. We're becoming more like North Korea, not like what made us great. Not that America's ever been perfect. I'm sorry, caller, finish your point. Jonathan, go ahead. And so, uh, Alex, I just think that uh, liberty is a double-edged sword. Just as everybody, uh, you know, you have MSNBC uh, talking their racial uh, stuff. Uh, how do you defeat the New World Order, the globalist syndicate, with this idea of liberty, doing whatever and saying whatever you get to say uh, when you have a positive message, but then it could also be seen that they also have a positive message? to the people and the masses, because the way I see it is liberty is a double-edged sword. If MSNBC is talking about their race war and you tell them, stop talking about that, they're going to throw back at you, well, Alex, uh, we have a right to say whatever we want to say. And then, you get to, and then you'll say the same thing once they, and you do when 
uh, they're blocking whatever you're saying. So I don't understand how to defeat this uh, global syndicate if liberty is a double-edged sword. Well, well, it is. And people buy into the fraud, too, that liberty means the government takes care of them when really they're being turned into slaves. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. All right, folks, we're going to talk to Larry Elder, talk show host, writer, who I think has really eloquently been exposing the incredible division being pushed by the so-called liberals. All they can offer is racial infighting because that's all they've got. While they work for foreign banks looting us, basically. I'm also going to continue breaking down this disgusting media frenzy over the royal birth. And it could be a queen. It could be a king. <laughs> this is the antithesis of what this country was founded on. This is kryptonite to Superman. If America Superman, this royal fawning is kryptonite. Worshipping royalty is the opposite of what America was founded on. It is kryptonite to Superman. I'm trying to think of a good tweet. If America is Superman, worshipping royals is kryptonite. Does that make sense? It, 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 it's, it's just, it's everything our ancestors struggled against. It's, it's, but now government's the new royalty with diplomatic immunity above the law. We're going to get into all of that. And we'll have open phones in the third hour uh, as well. And I'm very close to getting one of the main new Black Panther leaders on the show to again cover this big distraction, but, but wake people up. The only way, the last caller was saying, how do we get people out of this infighting? and out of this divide and conquer. I think you hijack the meme, you culture jam it, and then you show people, you cover it, because you've got to cover it and nobody's gonna listen. And you take whatever the big enchilada is of the day, the big diversion, the royal family, uh, the Trayvon Martin stuff, and then you point out how it's a distraction and then show people what they're not being shown. And, and I know that's elementary, you're like, tell us something we don't know. That's what I'm trying to get my crew to do, and they're doing a great job, by the way. Because hindsight's 2020, backseat quarterbacking, money day quarterbacking. My, my crew does an amazing job. I don't put one tenth of what I know into form, into action. That's what I'm trying to do here, and I'm really trying to unlock minds. I just want freedom. I have goodwill, and that is the antidote to the globalist uh, poison. Uh, Margaret in Florida, thanks for holding. You're on the air worldwide. Hi, um, Alex. I, uh, you've told us on the air that you had a shack for your family to bug out to. And I have a cabin on 10 acres. And I was wondering uh, your thoughts on when to bug out. Uh, what are we looking for? Well, I mean, I have a couple places I can go, family property and stuff. It's got old farmhouses and stuff on it that I go to anyways to go wild hog hunting or fishing or, or, or camping or, you know, riding four-wheelers or letting the kids ride around on, on the tractor. Uh, but, I, I mean, that's if, if, if we ever go into a Great Depression and stuff really collapses bad, I've got storable food, farm tools, and, and, and gardens and a little grape vineyard and things that are already going that I could go to. I've got a couple different places with family uh, that lives on family, you know, family partnership property. Uh, so I have one foot in an agrarian past. Uh, plus, I might have to, you know, bug out if it ever gets to the point of they shut down my media operation uh, and, you know, basically they're arresting patriot leaders. I, I, I won't particularly run myself, but I'll, I'll, you know, put my family out in the country and it's no secret where they'll be. It's just out of the way uh, I mean, here's an example. If we had a reactor blow up in California like they had in, 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 in uh, Japan, I would have to leave the U.S. for a couple of years because I don't want my kids getting radiated. Uh, so, so it's just always good to have that backup. Does that answer your question? 
Yes, um, uh, economic collapse, uh, you know. I'll tell you what, Larry Elder's coming up. Stay there. I'm going to come back to you. This is an important topic. Uh, and you should get the film we produced, Strategic Relocation. That'll really answer all your questions and the book at InfoWarsStore.com. Ladies and gentlemen, up on InfoWars.com, we have a lot of important news up there. Actor James Woods has dismantled Obama's racist opportunism. We've got some of his quotes from uh, Twitter up there. I think that's really important. Uh, we've also got UK blocks porn in the name of stopping child porn. Uh, they're going to move to get rid of free speech, period. Uh, they're certainly not really trying to stop porn. We're going to be breaking that down. Also, most government pensions to be confiscated within a decade. Mike Adams has a report up there from Natural News on Infowars.com that deals with the Congressional Budget Office and others reporting on the trend we've seen in Europe coming here to the United States. Also, the mainstream media is finally beginning to report on Russian combat readiness after the alternative news broke the fact that Israel struck Russian military sites in Syria a few weeks ago. Major escalation on that front.